Hey guys, this is Grenade Launcher 101 here. Bad guy that would spoil the cell chaos theory. This is the second mission, the cargo ship mission. Now a couple of things I need to mention. It, well, one, there are a couple of tricky parts in here. Once we get up to those points, I'll show you how to maneuver around them. And that's pretty much all I can say. So like, I say there's like a couple bumps in the road that we're about to take here, but uh, <clears throat> the rest of this mission basically is a breeze, so let's get started. Fisher, we just pulled up Silvestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over. Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. Hmm. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. All right. <clears throat> so these two are going to have a conversation right here. Wait for them to be finished. What are you doing up there? Uh, just trying to get away from the judgment. Uh, tell me about it. Where is he? We should be dealing with nothing of our own. But well, one of them's gonna stay out here and <clears throat> walk around. The other is gonna go through the doorway. When he comes through here, make sure you don't get too close to the doorway because he can easily spot you if you do get too close. And once he leaves, we have to worry about this guy right here. If you end up going through the doorway with him looking in this direction, he will easily spot you. So just wait until his back is turned to you. And then we're good. Now, get up here as quick as possible because there's going to be a point where he turns around. If you don't get into a dark spot soon enough, he will spot you when he turns around. Once that's done, you can continue forward. So now just approach this door slowly. Don't worry about waking him up when you open this door right here because it's not going to happen. Fisher, it looks like Lacerda is spreading around his newfound wealth, paying off debts with some of the arms that were delivered to him. You want me to scan any more weapons crates? Better idea. Flag tracking devices on them, and we can see where they end up getting delivered to. Okay. Alright, so one of the side objectives is like put tracking devices on these boxes that we scanned previously. So the first one is right here. Good 
job, Sam. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. All right. <clears throat> Now this guy right here, he's a little hard to get by, but not too hard. All you have to do, really, is just turn off this light, and once you turn it off, he'll come walking back over here. And that gives you an opportunity to get right into that uh, call space right there. So here we go. Turn on my night vision. Here we go. Save here because this is one of the two tricky parts to get by. If you don't time this right, one of those guards will end up spying you when you go through that door <clears throat> on the lower level here. Well, I just watch how I do it, I guess. Neither of them saw me, so we can continue forward from here. I'm betting that Lucerna's shipping container is somewhere in this compartment. The bill of lading should be mounted on the side. I don't look around. Good work, Sam. It looks like whoever delivered these arms to Lucerna was operating through a proxy. Mercantile Costa Fuerta Seguridad de Panama. I'm sure it bangers. Yeah. Guard chomping time. Great. I love bureaucrats. You still need to recover the transit ledger so we can figure out who else is there to is dealing with. Try the ship's office. They should have that information. Yeah. Alright. So these guys are going to have a conversation. Wait right here for them to be done. Because once it's done, both of them are going to have their bags towards you. The end of the conversation, now we can climb up here. Now this next room is quite easy to do. Sensors in your suit are detecting a lot of fumes down there. Yeah, I can smell it. It's kind of ghastly. Could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any firing in the engine room. And don't expect the enemy to be far enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. Get the message. I'll be discreet. All right. So in this next checkpoint, there's one part that's going to be really hard to like get through, and um. Depending on how it goes, I might need to like 
edit things out so I can get back to you guys. But we'll see how it plays out. It's basically the room where you have to find the third box to like put down the trackers and whatnot. Like the second one you find before you had to go to that room. But the third one is a really hard one to get through and maneuver around. But obviously I'll show you guys how to like maneuver that. So here, you're going to be finding information on that computer. Hey, did that Tesla pass through here? Yeah, he was here a few minutes ago, complaining about the letter. Bastard. I hope someone cut his throat. But certainly it's not a matter of time. <coughs> I'm not going to try with him. I'm hoping someone else will do it. That someone will experience pain to death at La Cerda's hands. So notice how this guy's pattern was a little different than what you see on Xbox and PC. So, like, when you see that, it gives you an opportunity to get into that computer from the other side. So you don't have to worry about him going through, going the opposite way. Now here, you got the second box, you place the tracker on. And I'll... <clears throat> Now, like I was saying, this next one up here is, like, tricky to maneuver around. But, uh, I did some tweaking on it. So, <clears throat> I should be able to get around this, no problem. So what we're going to do is shoot out that sticky camera and um, make some noise because that's going to distract him and that gives you an opportunity to get by him. And switch this object because that guy is standing right where that box is at. And you need that box to plant the tracker on. Get buy it as quickly as possible. Okay, Sam. that didn't work out as well as I thought it would, but uh luckily I did save right there before that next room. <clears throat> right. Hey, Thomas, 
That got his attention instead. Okay, we'll just uh, load progress again. <clears throat> so it's worth noting that when you do this, you have to make sure that guy gets far enough away to where he can't hear it, but the guy in the same room as me does hear it. That was the mistake I made. And I'm going to try not to make again. And doing ghost runs, you're most likely not going to have a perfect run unless you're like very disciplined. So, like, it's worth mentioning that, like, when doing this, have patience. So here we go. Now, he's going to end up leaving, so just get over here. Before those two come back. So, <clears throat> it's just the one guy. Then there's the other guy we have to worry about as well. And I think he's walking by us right now as we speak. Yep, there he is. So then he's gonna walk by again. Just um, once he passes this wall, get up against this wall right here. <coughs> Sorry, I'm having a groggy morning for some reason. Now, once he goes through that doorway, give a 20 second mark one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What? Does he think we are amateurs? Get up here as quick as possible before he sees you. Otherwise, your run is screwed over. We just wait for him to go back to his position. Now, make sure when you go up here that the technician guy is not 
bothering Ron, and he is. Luckily, I ended up stopping myself before I got caught by him. So, once he comes through here again, just uh, <clears throat> get back through here. <clears throat> Then we go up the stairs right here. That leads to the next checkpoint. <clears throat> so, the cool thing here is that we don't necessarily have to interrogate the captain to find out where Lacerda is at, but instead we can use a computer on the top floor of the ship. So here's this fourth cray, place the tracker on. Good job, Sam. Two more crates to go. Now, when going through here, though, be very careful. Because there is a guard that goes roaming around through here. And uh, in order to do this, you need to like stay right here. Because he's going to go, well, he's going to go one end of that hall, but he's also going to come like in that one dark spot right there where those pipes are at. So you want to stand there, like past that a little, then he's going to turn around, once he turns around you have an opportunity to get up there. Or not, <clears throat> that, that was a little too late for that. <clears throat> Okay, alright, it happens. It's no big deal. <clears throat> Here we go. Good job, Sam. Two more crates to go. So I guess once he stands there and turns around, wait for him to go to the other side of the hall. Because that way you have an opportunity to get by him. So now we slide this open. You can close it if you want. I don't think he's going to notice. So, I think these guys stay in their position for like 
the rest of the time. So, when you go through here, just be stealthy. And, uh, you're going to have to equip your sticky camera here. Because there's going to be a guy upstairs patrolling. And there's also that fifth crate that we need to plant trackers on. Alright, so I see him. But I don't think he's gone entirely. For now, we can just quick save here. Just in case he, he does see us, I can use this save point to like, the save point to like, hide from him. And uh, we'll just go from there. Way to go, Fisher. One more crate to go. right there. Luckily, he did not hear me. So I think what we're going to do is follow him to see where his pattern takes him. Because you never know. was kind of stupid, but uh, luckily, I did save. So we're gonna load progress. So just, we're just going to get up here before he comes walking over here. Close this door so that he does not see it or notice it. I'm not too familiar with how this goes right here. <clears throat> I think you have to distract one of them to like get to the computer or he just gets out of the computer on his own. It's hard to say. I'm not too familiar with this row. Keep my eyes wide open. 
Okay. I'm ready to get back to you guys on this. Hold on. Alright guys, I'm back. Um so I got things figured out here. So hold on. So once you deal with that, <clears throat> take the camera out here to make sure that the enemy isn't nearby. And I'm not sure where he's at, but I don't want to take the risk of coming out here and him spotting me. So I have to know where he's at before I can do so. Alright, there he is. So I know I said I was not going to do so many cutbacks and whatnot of that nature. But, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't too familiar with that part. So, like I said, I had to deal with that somehow. So, um,. He's gonna walk over to where my camera cannot see, so I have to wait a little longer just before he can, just before we get out of this door. All right, he's coming back. I'm gonna have to. All right. So now <clears throat> we go back in here. Just to like just to go down to the room where the sir is at. Now go through this door stealthily once again. That no one notices you. So, once we slide this open, be real careful because that guy can spot us any time. Now just get over here, because he's going to come over here at one point, and there he is. Once he turns back around, get up to this wall right here, <clears throat> and just wait for him to like, <clears throat> wait for him to do his thing, then turn back around, and then go down the other end of the hall, Once you get by him just the way I did, you should be good to move forward to where it was sort of at.
Grab him, obviously, then just back well away from the two American guards there. Good job, Fisher. I'll inform the Joint Chiefs that the Santa is no longer a threat. The primary objectives are completed. We can extract you whenever you're ready. I know it wasn't the full conversation. It was uh, just some sort of like dialogue glitch that happened out of nowhere. Not something I can explain, so <clears throat> we'll just deal with it. So here we're gonna wait for him again. <clears throat> Some wait, wait, nope, nope, not the right time. Go job, Khan. You learn from your mistakes. Do not make this make the same mistake that I made almost made there. Cause you can potentially mess up your ghost run. And nobody really wants that. So once we get past him, we go up the stairs. Past these two guys right here. The captain and his lieutenant, I guess. Now, as usual, open the door stealth. Like. Now, here, check your camera. Not the night vision, your camera. Just to be sure that the enemy is not outside when you come out there. And it looks like he's already out there, so we're gonna have to wait. <coughs> Done out of my camera angle, so uh, we're just gonna have to wait this out a little longer. Once he turns at a certain angle, I think we're free to go. So once you see him on that bridge, come out here and go right for him that was stupid. Hold on, I don't think I saved here. Let me get back to you guys. Alright, so that was the worst mistake I made. Never going to happen again. So Let's just check the camera here real quick. See where he might be at. And it seems like he's way over there. So 
So just in case, just stick by this wall right here. That <clears throat> was not supposed to happen. Luckily, I did save right there. did that that was dumb <clears throat> but um yeah <sighs> so I think what I'm gonna do in this predicament is like Try and follow him. Just to see where he's going to go. Just to be sure. Over here. Okay, he's gonna go walking by through here. So once he has his back towards you, just go right up here. And then this last part right here is going to have the last tracking uh, the last crate where we have to put a tracking device on it it's real tricky but as long as you get it done right you should be just fine and that's what I'm going to try and do here <clears throat> Okay, sorry I had to ed edit that out because um this was a frustrating thing to figure out here, but uh I pretty much got this unlocked now and that I kind of walked out of nowhere, but uh basically what I'm gonna do is get that last crate, then get up on that uh. One object thing that's the crate is sitting behind. Then I'm gonna crouch and then jump. Up to this ledge right here. Now once that's done, get on the ladder, do not glitch on me, extraction, and that's the second mission ladies and gentlemen, interrogate Hugo Lacerda, makes no sense why that's a bonus objective, but uh, whatever, so, 100% like nearly half an hour no one knocked out or killed and I don't think Lacerda really counts because he's basically the main objective but that's the second mission ladies and gentlemen the cargo ship mission and uh 
Next up would be the bank mission. And there's just one tricky part in that mission that you have to get through. Once we cross that point, I'll show you how to maneuver around that. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this has helped you out in some sort of way. I'm not saying, I mean, it probably has. You probably watched other YouTubers like go through these missions, but it's just more of a like fuck it kind of thing, like I said before. So, as always, um, thank you guys for watching. And, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. And as always, this is Grenade Launcher 101, signing off.